Well, again, uh, thanks for coming out to the uh, weekly press conference. You know, uh, bye week last week was a much needed week. Uh, a lot of uh, players, um, you know, banged up uh, from a very tough uh, first first third of the season. Um, you know, uh, four tough games. Uh, last week we got an opportunity to let some uh, guys that were backing up get reps. We had uh, inter squad scrimmages with the scout team. Was able to find some more depth. Uh, but more importantly, was able to heal up and get ready for this uh, upcoming contest against the SWAC champions and, and the Alcorn Braves. Uh, very good football team. Um, you know, it, it's no question why they was the champions last year. Uh, they continued to take the field this year with uh, a very sound offense, defense, and special team. A lot of playmakers. And uh, we'll have our work cut out for us on Saturday, but we'll be up for the challenge. Coach, the season is up. Um, going up there, Coach, I'll pull down the bleachers. Um, how important is it to, for y'all to get out to a fast start? Just like, I mean, this season, just like y'all did last year, so on and so forth. Well, as I told the players, uh, this weekend I, I labeled the test and the nest. You know, uh, we this is the best that we've been able to enter uh, into this game in the last uh, couple of years, and uh, two and two overall, uh, one and zero in the conference, and uh, we have home field advantage. So this is not only a test for our, our players, but it's a test for our brand uh, as a football program, as a test for our fans, uh, as they come out and show their, uh, show their support. This is, this is who we will be uh, going on out, and, uh, and uh, we're asking the players to step up for the challenge. Well, the big push is what we lab labeled this uh, second third of the uh, season. These four games are cru crucial to our goals and our outcome. They're all conference games. Uh, we have one out of the uh, four at home. Uh, so we, we have to be uh, excellent at home, and we have to find ways to win these games. If we're going uh, we're gonna to become champions as we set out to, to become uh, early in the year and last year, these four games are, are going to really dictate the outcome of our season. Anything that stands out about Alcorn or many things that you know you guys real attention to detail about? Them? Uh, they've been able to find ways to win without some of the key players. So that tells you the depth of the program. Uh, anytime you uh, are able to bring in the backup quarterback and he throws for 400 yards, that says you got great depth at that position. You're able to bring in the backup center. And we hadn't had a fumble exchange uh, from the snap. You're able to bring in the backup running back and still had over 100 yards rushing. So that tells me they got great depth, great talent in their depth. So again, you know, we have to prepare for two different offenses. Uh, the, the first quarterback they had, Noah, he ran more of a triple option. He beat you with your feet. This guy, he can set in the pocket and he can pick you apart. So we got to get some pass rush and we got to cover those lane throwing lanes up and uh, uh, and make things happen. Coach, speaking of that, they, they have, I mean, there's another dynamic in the offense. There's two guys that have a perimeter, uh, are playing pretty well at the receiver position. I know one of the guys is averaging like 21 yards a catch. So what are some things are going to try to do to bother them and prevent the big plays? Well, like I told the uh, defense, we want to bend but don't break. But, again, we're not playing bad either. And uh, I told the offense, uh, you know, they got guys catching 21 passes for over 100 yards. We got guys catching 21. This is where the Air Force is based. So, if they want to, if they want to fly high, we're gonna fly high right with them. So, uh, if it comes down to the last team with the ball, then that's what it'll be. Is it important, I guess, for Saturday to leave with a win, knowing that y'all are gonna be on the road for a while? This is this is the game. Uh, this is the game. I mean, it's uh, even from checking with the administration, uh, only a couple hundred, a uh, couple thousand tickets left. Uh, they're bringing bands, they're bringing bus, the grills, the RVs, and we, uh, you know, this is the game. And anybody that knows SWAC football uh, and anybody that follows the East, they know that this is the game of the week right here. Coach, uh, when, you, when you go and look at the, the stats on SWAC, uh, on a lot of credit plays, especially the team stats, it's like ASU 6, Alcorn, I mean 5, vice versa in a lot of places. So what that tells me is these, these teams actually are fairly matched up. So to you, I mean, when you when, is the, when the gap is like this, what are some things that are necessary to, to get over that hump and to, to <laughs> create the gap in your own? You know, this is what we've been working on as a program, closing that gap. Yeah. Uh, before, it used to be Alcorn 1 and Alabama State 10. 
Now we are right where we need to be in the statistical polls, but now it comes down to the play. We can't uh, go back to turning the ball over. We can't go back uh, to not executing on third down. We have to execute and play uh, top-notch football. I mean, we're, we're not looking to uh, have the, the weakest team come in and, and now blow them out by 100. We want to be able to play with the ones that's winning this thing. and We want to be able to, the same way we took on the Gramlin, uh, yeah, that game was good for us because we, it's a team that we hadn't beat, but more importantly, it's a team that had dominated the conference for a while. Now we need to close the gap on Alcorn. And uh, last year don't matter. We know that they're going to come in with the same energy and the same expectation we have, and we have, to, we have to match that and come out of here with a win. You mentioned the, uh, the bye week and having some people rest up and get better to did they come at a good time for you guys? At a, at a great time. Uh, matter of fact, we had to make room for the mascot. He needed ice as well. I mean, everybody was banged up from uh, uh, from those four games. I mean, you take on Conference USA champs. You come back, uh, you take on a, a stud in Division Two of a Tuskegee. You come back and you take on number five team in the country. Then you come back and take on Gramlin, who's uh, been ranked and uh, played in the uh, 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 West Championship of the SWAC. And, uh, I mean, in those kind of games, uh, you play, uh, we played some brutal football. Guys were running downhill, a lot of uh, tackling, a lot of blocking, and we just needed that break. Uh, how important is it to win 13 this week? You know, the guy was six picks last year. Not, not saying that was something that y'all might have forced, but clearly special teams are winning that game. Though. Any team that's winning, they're winning because of special teams. If they, you have to negate the uh, long returns, and you have to make the field goal. We had to, this off week gave us a chance to clean up some of the stuff that we were doing with our PAT field goal. Uh, we missed uh, a crucial kick against Grambling that could have really uh, dictated the outcome of the game. And whether it was being lax or not coming with enough energy or the approach on the kick or whatever it may be, uh, we took last week so that we could fix it and we can execute 100% of our kicking.